Hello everyone, uh, this is Ethan. I'm in charge of the game design venue for the Innovate IT Showcase here coming up in April. And I just wanted to create a really quick, really short uh, five minute video to kind of run through the entire primary challenge coming up just to make sure basically any basic questions can be asked. If you watch through this and you still have questions, please reach out to me either over Discord or reach out to Innovate IT staff over email and we'll be in contact. So the first thing is that the scenario, the template, and the rubric can all be found on the game design site down here at the bottom. And you can just click these and it'll open them up. And so let's just quickly run through the primary challenge. This year, we're going to have you make an original 3D platformer game. So in the, in the past, we've looked at using themes, so picking a theme from a list and making a game around that. We're narrowing it down this year to make sure everyone's kind of creating the same type of game. So this year, you're all going to be responsible for creating a 3D platformer. So what exactly does a 3D platformer look like? Well, sometimes the best way to describe this stuff is through an example. So an older example would be Crash Bandicoot or Super Mario 64. Uh, those were both pretty typical, pretty... Uh, relevant 3D platformers. A more modern example might be something like Super Mario Odyssey. So if you've played games on the Switch, you've potentially played that one. Um, but if we were to talk about some of the characteristics of them, we're going to be looking at 3D graphics. So these are not 2D. It's a 3D platformer, so it needs to be 3D graphics. And then some sort of platforming style movement. What does that mean? Well, you could be jumping between platforms, sliding around, dashing, jumping. Um, you could defeat enemies that are walking around or flying through your movement abilities. And then, of course, some sort of collection of items, points, power-ups, anything like that. Sometimes even timed levels as well. And then, of course, a definitive start and end to a level, and the inclusion of multiple levels. So this isn't an open world thing. It could be if you wanted to go that route, but generally, we want to break things apart into multiple levels with definitive starts and ends. So think about in a Mario game, you start at the beginning of the level, you end at the flag. Of course, that being said, there is no need to contain every single element of a typical 3D platformer. Again, we want you to make something original, make something fun. So just make it relatively recognizable as a 3D platforming game, and you'll be just fine in that regard. And if, again, if you have any questions, please reach out to me. Please read this note about appropriateness. Obviously, this is a public event. We don't know the background of everyone involved. So you need to be mindful that there may be people there that have different opinions than you and that things need to be appropriate. So again, if you have any questions, please reach out. You're going to be responsible for a few things. You're going to need to create the game itself, a quick start guide, so sort of like an old game manual, and then of course a presentation to go along with it to either market or show off or talk about your game. And then of course the rubric, this is a very basic rubric. Again, if you have any suggestions or these are my suggestions to you. And then of course some uh, resources as well. Please take a look through, lots of good things there. You can find a more detailed rubric and point breakdown in the rubric document. I won't go through this in detail here. If you have any questions, please reach out. Um, but this should be pretty self-explanatory. And then finally, I did also provide a zip file for a template. So if you download that template and open it in Unity, you should have something like this. It's a very rudimentary little mini level. It doesn't have a starter and ender and anything. But I kind of prototyped a very basic player controller, a power-up, and some very basic... Uh, functionality for you. So if you need a starting point, this might be a good place to look at. You are not required to use this in any way. So if you want to start from scratch and make your own everything, go right ahead. No problem with that. So just for a little bit of a demo here, you can see we're moving along with the platform here. We can jump. We can move through the air. I kind of prototyped a little bit of a camera follow. It's a little bit buggy. So if you go this route and want to use this you either may want to look at changing the camera a little bit, or even potentially looking at a Cinemachine, which is another Unity plugin, which has better camera movement than this. So you can see I can jump between platforms. I can triple jump even. That's sometimes a fun thing. And then down here, I have this cool little thing. I may have ripped this off from a uh, Mario Kart, but it's basically a little uh, power-up. So if I go ahead and walk through that, you can see I have super jumping. So now I'm very high in the air. 
and I fall all the way down, and you can see it wore off after a period of time. So this is all implemented in code for you. It should be fairly well commented um, if we take a look here. So you can see the player controller is a longer class, but everything should be broken up into chunks to help you understand it. Obviously, if you have any questions, please reach out. I'm happy to help you out. And of course, a basic power-up. A simple moving platform, though if you make moving platforms in your game, you'll probably want to look at using the Unity animation system. That's completely, it, it might be a little more flexible for you. And then of course a few other functionality things here. But, but generally, that should be what you need to get a head start on everything. So, that is the quick overview of the scenario. Again, you're going to be making a 3D platformer. I'm looking forward to see what you guys create, and please let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.